This is five reasons to quit caffeine on day five of me quitting caffeine. But every junkie's like a set in sun. <coughs> I'm sick. My baby was sick. It always starts with a baby. The baby started to get sick, and then my wife was saying, I'm sick. And it's then... fun to have a cold when you're trying to withdraw from caffeine. Number one is diminishing returns. I have days that I remember where the caffeine just hit me so right and the sun was shining and the friends were there and it was just a good time. That was a good day. And I remember that venti Starbucks coffee just was awesome. But the day, I don't remember the day after that. I remember the day a week after that. I don't remember those other days as being a good coffee day. It was just that one. There's a point where inevitably you're gonna hit a plateau of diminishing returns and it's not going to be the same awesomeness that it once was. It's just going to be this grind where you need more and more of it to get better at being organized from it and just to feel normal, to make your body feel normal. You're a junkie now. You're hooked. Every junkie is a setting sun. Number two, not being punished by it if you haven't had it in time. Yeah, if you don't, like, I know for me it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30 a.m. If, if I haven't had coffee in that amount of time, all of a sudden my body starts to punish me with the pain, the headache that you get. It just punches you in the face. It's a terrible headache. Why am I doing this anymore? It's just very punishing in its nature and its addiction. That's a reason to quit. I hate feeling the ball and chain of addiction and having to feel like I need something. You know, you need sleep, you need water, you need food, you need air to breathe in your lungs. There's certain things you need. But beyond that, I, I wanna be independent of any, any other thing where I have to go get my coffee or else I'm gonna get, have this brutal feeling. It's stupid. I wanna be able to be in a situation where I'm not needing that and free free from having to do that. There's many scenarios where you would be in a situation where coffee wasn't available the next day or you were out of town or something and it'd be awesome if you didn't need to have it, right? Number three, your teeth get stained. Ah, uh, I think brown stuff hitting your teeth every day, all day long for however many years you've been drinking coffee, now your teeth are stained. Ugh. That's just another incentive and reason to quit drinking caffeine. Your teeth. Number four, you'll have less toxins in your bloodstream. I imagine that your blood is full of the chemicals and the toxins that's inside of the caffeine drug. And I just, I, I feel like your blood boils when you try to quit. This is experiential bro knowledge that I'm spouting, maybe, but cleanse the toxins out of your bloodstream. Okay, number five is more of a spiritual one. When you drink caffeine, you're getting energy from it, yeah? Can we all agree that you get energy from caffeine when you drink it? Okay, well, getting all this energy and pride promoting yourself promoting your ingenuity, promoting your abilities. It's taking yourself and putting a jet pack on it and saying, <laughs> it's all about you. It's all about self. What can you do? Drink coffee, find out. Less of God, more of me. I think that you would be wise to not constantly be trusting in yourself. I mean, there's times when you should. You should do things and you should work for a living and you should drink co coffee at times, perhaps. But not all the time. There may be a time in your life where you just say, I'm going to give preference to what God's doing in my heart. I'm going to say less of me, just like John. Give more room in your life, in your heart, in your mind, in your energy to God. Sometimes you don't have all the answers. Sometimes you just not the best authority on the issue. God is, and 
It's time to just see what he has instead of what you've been putting out in your life. Aren't you sick of just being in control of everything? Take some time out, quit drinking coffee, quit trusting in yourself so much, and put your focus on God. More of God, less of me. I believe that this energy you get from coffee promotes pride, and pride in a negative sense. And you need to be able to just humble your pride less energy, less food energy, less coffee energy at a time, and just focus on God, focus on Christ, detox it from your system, and just fall on your knees and pray, <laughs> and give God the glory for a time, maybe all the time. Wouldn't that be great if every day, all the time, it would just be all Him? But those are my five reasons to quit coffee. And I want to talk about the pain real quick. The pain is severe in my lower back today. It's like a fire in my back. Ah, I was like, ah, I'm burning alive. My blood is boiling and burning in painful agony until I took ibuprofen and had some supper. I also had a candy bar, one of those uh, Symphony toffee and almond. That sort of kind of soothed that pain. All while I'm saying, humble yourself, lower your pride. I'm like eating all this this big, this chocolate bar the size of my face, ice cream's good. Food seems to soothe the pain and I'm all about that right now. But I'm going towards a goal and the goal is depriving myself of all this stuff for, for this time at the beginning of 2018. And hopefully you're thinking, maybe, maybe this will inspire you to, to maybe think of uh, getting to that point where you're giving God preference, seeing what he wants you to do in 2018. God bless. Happy New Year coming up like tomorrow.